All right, folks, this first question today, because we're continuing on with our Q and A's, is the question I got more than anything else. An update on the pets. People want to know about Aspen. They want to know about Hattie. Um, so specifically, I'm responding to a question here from Donald Garfield, 1020. <laughs> Donald Garfield says, show us Aspen. Where are the cats? Honestly, that's all I care about right now. Um, ask and you shall receive. Come here. Come here, baby. All right. Hang on. This is a little tough because she's, uh, she's a little bit bigger than she used to be, but she's got her frog. So she's happy. Oop, all right. All right. You can go. Thank you for cooperating. So there's all 50 pounds of her. She's not cooperative. I couldn't lift her the way I wanted to. She actually uh, recently got fixed. Uh, so she still got a little, you know, soreness. So I didn't want to hurt her. Um, that's the happy part. The other part, again, question I got most asked most throughout this whole Q and a is not so happy because that question is where's Hattie. Hattie passed away a couple weeks ago. Hattie actually passed away on father's day. Um, here's the story of that. She had been sick for, for quite a while. She started losing weight rather rapidly, uh, months and months ago. So we took her to the vet, you know, when it became obvious, like, oh my God, you know, it's not just a little bit of fluctuation. She's lost a lot of weight. We take her into the vet. The vet gets her out of, you know, her, her, her cat carrier and had a, her heart rate went crazy. And the, the doctor was like, listen, I, I cannot, I can't not run tests on this cat because her heart rate is so bad. She's going to have a stroke and die. So we said, okay, got her back in her carrier, brought her home. And the doctor had given us like, look for these symptoms. You see these things, you bring her back. Okay. Couple weeks go by, the other symptoms show up. Horrible, bad symptoms. So we take her back. Same thing. Can't even run tests because she's about to have a stroke. So the doctor says, okay, listen, I'm going to give you these sedatives. Try her on it for a couple days. If they work, bring her back, you know, once she's calm and we can run the tests. So we do that. And it, it, you know, weeks and months had passed at this point before we were able to even get to that point because of her problems, but going to the vet. So we get her on the sedatives. We bring her back. The doctor's able to finally perform the tests. Wonderful. Turns out she has hyperthyroidism. Okay, great. Not great, but manageable, right? doctor says, okay, listen, we're going to give you this medication. She gets it in the morning. She gets it in the evening, do it for a month. After that, we'll see where she is. If it looks like it's cleared up, then we might be able to do something surgically, uh, you know, removing a gland to, to, to save her. And then, you know, she's good. Otherwise it may be the situation where she just has to stay on this medication forever, but she should be okay. That was the Saturday before father's day. So we get the medication, get her home, give her a first dose, wake up Father's Day morning to a blood curdling scream from my daughter, letting us know that Hattie had died. She was laying in the middle of their bathroom floor, non-responsive. Um, so that's what happened to Hattie. It, it is very sad, very unfortunate. Um, and you know, she, she was a, a stray that we had, we had found as a baby. I bottle fed her. Um, so it was very hard, you know, as a cat we'd had since a couple days after she had been born, but you know, s sometimes things happen for a reason. And I say that to tell you this, um, next day, my wife gets a call from her friend who's at uh, uh, the school that they work at school's out, but you know, they're up there all summer doing stuff. She says, Hey, listen, there's these two little tiny bitty baby kittens out here. They won't come to us. They're like stuck under this thing. Can you come help? Cause we know you, you love cats. Um, they're filthy. One of them looks like it's been attacked. So my wife goes, she's able to get the two kittens, bring them home. Um, 
And and so we get them cleaned up. We we take them to the vet. Um, they're still too young to to get shots yet. Uh, but they had worms, you know, horrible ringworm, roundworm, uh, and internal parasites. So we got them on medicine. They're all cleared up from that. Uh, they're both two little, uh, two little boys. One of them did like it's missing. He's missing half his tail. Um, cause it had been attacked by something. So if we had left them there, they, they'd be gone. They'd be eaten. Um, and the plan was, you know, we're going to foster these kittens for a while and then find somebody to adopt them as a pair because they're brothers. They're, they're super bonded already. We don't want to split them up. Uh, we're going to end up just keeping them. The personalities are too great. Um, also with the loss of Hattie, you know, it, it's, it helps. So that's that, you know, things, maybe they happen for a reason. Maybe they don't, but, uh, you know, we, we've got these other two now we've got our other cats, but Hattie's death hit me hard. Um, but that, that is life. So I appreciate everybody asking. I know you all loved her. I loved her too, but you know, may, maybe the new little, little guys will, will be featured in a video in the future. So thank you. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.